All right, so in this one, we are gonna be updating our redirect page or the Kerr CV view to actually handle any given analytic view. So like we wanna actually monitor what's going on with every URL. That is, we wanna get the data when it's clicked, we wanna actually update that. Um, so to do this, I'm gonna do a couple things here. And first of all, I'm gonna, instead of calling this Kerr CV view, I'm gonna call this URL redirect view. That's a more appropriate name for what we're doing here. And then I'm gonna go ahead and copy that and bring that into our URLs as the import. And there we go. So that just changes it ever so slightly, not a huge deal, but it's something that I definitely wanted to do. Um, so now what do we, we wanna do is actually create something that is a new model here, and we're gonna save item, right? We're gonna save some analytic data about this particular item. Okay, so to do this, I'm gonna go into my terminal and I'm gonna python manage.py create, or excuse me, start app, and we're gonna call it analytics. So the app is now called analytics. We're gonna add in a new model here. I'm gonna do from, I'm gonna first of all, import the shortener model itself or that actual object. So shortener.models import the cur URL. Uh, I'll explain why we're doing that in a second. And then we'll just do class analytic or actually class click data or just click event and it's models.model. And the first thing that I wanna do is I wanna associate this to my actual URL. So I'll just say URL or more specifically, it's the cur URL. Um, so I'll say cur, well, let's leave it as cur URL equals to models dot foreign key. And it's gonna be the cur URL. And then we'll do count equals to models dot integer field default equals to zero, and that's it. Uh, I could actually add in those timestamps, so if I open up my other models, I'm gonna go ahead and add in the timestamp, updated and original first click. I'll go ahead and remove this stuff. We don't need those notes anymore. Uh, and then I'm just gonna define the string data, and it's gonna take in self, and we're gonna return just the integer, so I'll just put i in here and do dot format i equals to self dot count. Okay, so this is now our model, uh, but I wanna think about something here. I did foreign key, what this does is associate the two models. Okay, but I'm not really worried about that association. I, like if you wanna know more about how foreign keys work, definitely check out TriJangle 1.9 and 1.8 or pretty much any other full project on um, joincfe.com. So instead, what I wanna do is a click event. I want to have a one-to-one -one relationship. That is, I want the object, the cur URL object, to only have one sort of click event or events. And I only want the click events to have one sort of foreign key or one um, actual cur URL. So let's do a one-to-one -one field here. We're gonna leave that as that. And we'll see what this does in just a moment. But I'm gonna go ahead and save this. And I wanna create a model manager here because we've already learned about this. So we'll do click event manager and it's gonna be models.manager and we're gonna do define uh, create event or really just click, but we'll call it create event and it's gonna take in self and an instance. So the instance we wanna check if instant or is instance, not just instance, but is instance of the click event class, then we will actually go ahead and do this, or excuse me, not the click event class, but the cur URL class, because we're passing in the cur here. So we'll just say object equals to self.model and cur URL equals to instance, but we don't necessarily need to do self.model. Instead, we can do self.objects.get or create cur URL, right? So it's actually gonna create it or get it, and in here we can just say created and we'll do object.count plus equals to one and then object.save and we'll return the object. And otherwise we'll return none. Actually, let's just return the object.count. So we're creating the event and it's re we're gonna return the count. So down here, we're gonna come in and say objects equals to click event manager. Cool, 
Nothing should be new here. This should all be fairly intuitive as to what's going on. And the objects here, this, this part actually might be an error, which we'll find out, but that should be what it is. So um, now, and oh, actually not self.objects, but self.get or create, because it is the objects. Okay, so we'll try this now. And we're gonna first of all have to add, since we created this new app, we're gonna have to add it into our analytics or our installed apps here. And since we did that and we made some models, we have to do python manage.py, make migrations, and cannot import name cur URL. So the URL, oh, oh, there's why, because I spelled it incorrectly, or at least had the capitalization incorrectly. So let's update all those. And we'll make those migrations, and I'll do python manage.py, migrate, and there we go. I'm also gonna add this into the admin. So, so from dot models, import click, event, and then admin.site.register, click event, and that should be lowercase to register. So we save that. And now in our view, this is where it actually should work. This time we're gonna import the model from analytics. So from analytics.models, import, click event. Okay, copy that, bring it down here. And now we do click event.objects.create event. And all we do is pass in the object or the actual instance. And again, if, it, if there's no object, it will render it out there. And then here, I'll just go ahead and print out that whole thing because it should either return none or the number of times it was clicked. So we're gonna go ahead and save that. I, I think everything should work just fine. I'm gonna go to some URL, I'll submit it in. Let's actually turn that link into its own link. So I'm gonna go ahead and copy that and We'll jump into our template for it. And let's turn this into a link. So we'll do ahref equals to the actual short URL, not, not the other link. So let's go ahead and copy this, paste that there, close that out. And we're gonna put this also on exists. There we go. So we save that. Let's try it again, refresh, and there we go. I click on it. I get a page not found. All right, so no cur URL matches giving query. So we have some problems with our short code, it looks like. So let's get rid of that trailing slash there. And we'll try that again. And it's still saying that it's not matching anything. Let's bring that trailing slash back and refresh. And it says no given query. So let's look at the URLs that we have. CFE blog is the one that we're looking at. Here's the short code, I paste it in. It's not coming through correctly, or at least it's not finding the object correctly. So let's go ahead and print out the short code and let's see why. So we come in here, we'll refresh, and we've got the short code there. Cur URL should be getting this short code. So let's try and do a query set instead. So we'll do QS equals to cur URL dot objects dot filter short code equals to short code and then we'll print out that query set now instead of the short code. And I'm actually gonna add in I exact for that. And I'll explain that in a second too. We'll refresh in here. And we see that there is actually an object. So it looks like this get object or 404 is failing us, or at least it might be failing us because of this I exact stuff. So let's bring that in, save that, and refresh in here. Nope, still not, still failing. Not exactly sure why, so I'm going to go ahead and comment it out. There's a very good chance that that is because of Django hosts or just something else that um, may be causing an error with this git object or 404. So now instead, I'm gonna use the query set and I'll say if qs.count is equal to one and qs.exists, then I will actually do all of this stuff, but I'll just say object equals to qs.first just another way to get that query set. And then otherwise, we'll just raise an HTTP 404. And we have to import that 404 call on HTTP right there, just like that. In fact, I'm gonna re reverse these a little bit and I'll say if count is not equal to one and not exist, then I will raise that 404 error. Otherwise, we'll just go with everything else. And it should print out the click events now let's try it again, I'll refresh, and we've got is instance. This might be the reason that the error happens. 
Um, so it takes in two types, must be a type or a tuple of types. So let's look back at our analytic model and it's taking in the instance, but let's just call this, um, we'll call this cur instance and leave that in there. So cur URL and cur instance, and then use that as cur instance as well. Refresh and it's still giving us a problem on line nine as far as is instance is concerned. So huh, the very obvious sol solution was I had these backwards. The instance should be first and the class should be second. Hopefully you guys caught that. If you didn't, we caught it. Okay, so let's go back and refresh. And now it looks like it's doing something. Hopefully it is. We might see an error. Didn't see an error. It actually brought us to somewhere else. This is definitely not us, so oops. Um, but we have, uh, our site is now working as far as things are concerned. No, it did do two, <laughs> two different redirects, but let's try it one more time and I'll do join CFE, I'll hit shorten. It does shorten it, or at least in this time it did shorten it. So if I click on this one, this should actually redirect to join CFE, which then redirects to codingforentrepreneurs.com. So it's a redirect within a redirect. Um, but if we go back to our URL, we see now um, that all of this stuff is really, really starting to shape up. But we also wanna look in the admin. We wanna see those click events. And I see that I have some click events in here. So join CFE has one. So let's try that again. And I'll hit shorten, click on that. And again, we clicked on it and notice the count goes up. Really nice. So I can also put the count in here by using that relationship. So it's a reverse relationship. This is how foreign keys work. I can just jump in here and inside of exists, this is where I'll put it. And I'll just say um, count is equal to object dot click event dot count. This is because of that one-to-one -one relationship. If it was a foreign key, we'd have to do dot all dot first or something like that. But in this case, we're doing um, this right here. We refresh inside of exists and we see our count is two. And if I click on it again, I'll just open it in a new tab. It does that redirect pretty quickly and I can refresh in here and I see what my count is now. Um, so this is now shortened URLs. Let's actually use a real URL that you would probably shortened. And that is like, let's go to our YouTube channel here and we're gonna actually get one of the URLs that's kind of long. So let's go in and grab the triangular.js URL. Um, this one is definitely a little bit longer. So I'll go ahead and copy that. Go back to the homepage, paste in, hit shorten. There is our now shortened URL. This is where it's gonna be a little bit more valuable to us. And now that we have the shortened URL, I can also go back to that URL in particular, and I can change it to Angular or something, some sort of channel that I wanna call it and hit save and continue, or I called this project triangular.js, and I can save it as that short URL. So now if I refresh in here, it now is saying angular.js, right? Uh, the count is non-existent because we didn't actually create it, but if I click on this, it actually creates it, brings us to that URL, and now if I refresh in here, I should see that count come through. Of course, we could use some template tag stuff like if object dot click event, then we would show that actual click event and then end if. Save that, refresh here again. Of course, this time it does show it. If I change it to something else, like let's say YouTube, hit enter, um, the click event's not showing up. If I refresh, it's still not showing up. Okay, cool. So that is handling our analytic stuff. If you have any questions on what we did here, let us know. Hopefully none of this was like crazy difficult. Hopefully it all kind of flowed very nicely for us. And I want you to think about why I could use self.get or create because what self.get or create is really replacing or self in general is click event.objects. That is because the objects is calling that manager. So this could just be self, right? That's how we can actually do it right in there. And then it creates our instance and it does everything that we need it to do. Cool. So again, if you have any questions on this, let us know. Otherwise, let's keep going.